Hi folks, it's Evo here from Thunderous Lure Company and welcome to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Trips. Great to see you. I've got the boatless angler with me today and we're not really boatless. We've got our little car topper here with us today and sometimes that's all you need to have a great day on the water and that's what we're hoping for today. We're, uh, we're using the T-turn, the pre-tied T-turn bait rigs and we're going to be using cut bait today. We're looking for that spring channel cap bite so stay tuned folks we're hoping to get in some nice fish oh, oh. i love it when antonio's still setting up <laughs> and i set the hook into the first fish it's not fair <laughs> yes it is fair because usually it's antonio's got his line in the water first but today it was me folks and he gave me a great bite just a great bite and it feels like a decent channel cat you could tell with those head sways that it's a nice channel cat and he gave me these good long sweeping bites so very very aggressive nice long sweeping bites i love it so and the thing is when these catfish twist and turn these t-turns will keep your line totally tangle free i really I, I love that feature on it as well and what do you think antonio you're gonna land it for me yeah try to okay does it have good size i think so i think it's I think it's, oh, I just seen a swirl. Oh, Ooh, that's a nice one. Oh, oh, oh. It's, a, <laughs> it's, it's got a big head anyway, that's for sure. <laughs> Look at these he's churning up this water. Oh, come on. Oh, murky water, you can't see the fish to net it. I know. <laughs> there he, oh, look at the head on this fish. Oh, oh. <laughs> <That's> a nice <laughs> one. Well, that's a channel cap, folks. My line wasn't in there, what? Five minutes. Five minutes Five at the minutes. max. Look at this fish. Okay. Okay, there's a channel cat for you right there, folks. <laughs> That's a beautiful fish. You know what? I even might have brought a weigh scale today. Let's see if I did. And we'll get this guy weighed up. And there's my nice 5 odd hook on these T-turn bait rigs, which is ah perfect for these channel cats. Not a good idea to lip lock them, they are strong. Let me see if I can find my uh, weigh scale. Let's get a weight on them, I do have my weigh scale. It's one thing I know that you, our subscribers, have been asking for, getting a weight on, the, weight on these fish. So, brand new weigh scale. He Let's see what we got. 15 pounds. You think he's 15? Yeah. Uh, this is actually kilos, let me change that to pounds. Okay, let's get a weight on them. Antonio, you're like usual, you're almost bang on. It's 14, 14, 14, 13, 14, 14. He's just shy of 15 pounds. Yeah. You, as usual, you've got a good eye, Antonio. So just shy of 15 pounds. Look at the head on this fish. Holy mackerel. That's a, he's got a big, big head on him. There we go. What a nice fish. Okay. Let's get this guy back in the water. Wow, they're hard to hold. Okay, back in he goes. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was exciting. If that's any indication on how the day is gonna be, we're in for a great day. I need to re-rig with some more cut bait. Look at the slime on this. They're really slimy, those fish, this time of year. But the spring bite, I love it. Okay, we got some more cut bait? Yep. All right. And it looks like a decent one, too. Hey, when they leave swirls like that on the water. Oh, look at that. Our fish. Oh. Turbulence, Antonio. Turbulence. Oh, look at this. Oh, man, we're getting some great fish today. They all seem to be the same size. Well, yeah. yours do, anyway. Yeah, well, that one looks a little smaller. That one's, well, let's bring them around. You want to get a weight on them? Let's get a weight on them. Let's bring them around here. Okay, there's my hook. Ah, okay, out comes the hook. Get this T-turn bait rig out of the way. And let's lift him up. No, he's not that big. He's... He's 12. 11. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's see. <laughs> let's get this bag here. Let's weigh him up. Okay, let's get him in there. All right, in the weigh scale. Oh, this brand new weigh scale is getting a workout today, that's for sure. Okay, change the pounds. What'd you say, Antonio? I said 12. 12? And, of course, as usual, Antonio's right. 12.9, 12.10. Just over 12 and a half pounds for that channel cat right there. 
This bag doesn't weigh anything. So these weights are very, very accurate. Okay. Wow, that big head compared to my hand. Holy mackerel. That's another male with the, the black lip. Okay, let's just get him in. Goodbye, Mr. Channel Cat. Hello, Mr. Slime. Gotta have a rag with you, folks, when you're fishing for channel cats. Gotta get that slime off your hands, that's for sure. Okay, okay Antonio, did you see that? Oh. Nice. You know what, folks? I just missed one a few minutes ago, and I tossed it right back in there. It could be the same fish that I just missed. And uh, I am tossing my line in the same, in the exact same area because I want to, I want to scent that area up as much as I can and attract those fish. So I'm gonna work, I'm gonna keep casting to that same zone and you know that's one of my techniques that I use when I'm fishing for channel cat because you wanna keep that area scented and keep those fish coming around. Antonio, you're gonna land this one for me? Yeah. Oh, it's another nice fish. Oh, another nice fish. Not as big as that last one. Okay. Beautiful. Another nice channel cat. Okay, let me, uh, let's get him off. Get him in here behind me, Antonio. If you don't mind. Okay, let's get him off the hook. Okay, let's get him out of there. Not as big as the other one, but a nice fish nonetheless. And the hook. Decent hook set. I might need a pliers. No, I got it out. Out and into my finger. Not quite. <laughs> <laughs> There's another nice channel cat right there. They're gorgeous, these fish, aren't they? Look at that, the springtime bite for channel cats. This one is probably, oh, maybe five pounds. Four, four and a half. Five pounds, five for sure. All right. Back in he goes. Oh, that was an awesome hook, man. <laughs> you saw that, Antonio? <laughs> oh my. That was really good. Okay, so what happened with this fish, folks? He just picked it up and he just started running with it. My rod just went. Now sometimes when they pick it up, they might be running towards you and if you see your line getting loose, 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 you have to tighten it up and just, just set the hook right away. But in this case, he was swimming away from me and right away I set the hook on him. Okay, now he's still a bit green. He swam right to the boat. Oh, 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 oh. He's taking drag and I just lost him. Oh, no, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. He's swimming there. <laughs> I thought I lost him. Oh, 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 he's going to go over the anchor. Antonio, he's going all over. <laughs> oh, my. You know what? It, it, feel, it feels like a good fish. It feels like good fish, Antonio. Now, the line I'm running, I'm running a fluorocarbon line. And the, the pre-tied teeter and bait rigs, they also come with fluorocarbon line. 20 pound test, in fact. But my main line right now is only 15. Okay. Still haven't seen him yet. Still haven't seen him yet in this murky water. Oh, nice one. <laughs> this is a good one. Oh, oh yeah. Can't see him. <laughs> there you go. Oh, there's another. I think we're gonna get a weight on this one, but he's not quite 15 pounds, but no. we're gonna weigh him up. Okay, now you see how I'm holding this fish too. I am kind of lip locking him, my thumbs are in the side. They don't have te teeth in the side of the mouth, they have it in the front of the mouth right there. And this one is a male, you could tell because the males have a dark mouth, a, a big mouth and a black. See how it's black on the top there? Whereas the females, they're, they've got a smaller mouth and they're all white. So this guy's pretty heavy. He's, he's all of 12 actually, maybe 13. Let's get the trusty weight scale out and make sure it's in pounds. It's in kilos again, so we'll just switch over to pounds, Antonio. All right. Well, as usual, our estimates are pretty darn good. 13, 6, 13, 15, he's just shy of 14 pounds. Let's get this guy right back in the water. Yeah, another way to hold these fish especially these big ones, just with the fins, like that. <laughs> just hold them like that and you won't, uh, you, you won't get hurt at all, but their teeth are very sandpapery teeth and they will, they will grind, your, uh, grind your finger, that's for sure. 
All right, look at that fish. Beauty. Okay, see you later, Mr. Channel Cat. Well, I think the verdict's out. Early spring fishing, the month of April. The fish are on, the bite is on. We're having ourselves a great time out here, and we've just started. Springtime is a great time to get out in the water, folks. If you haven't yet, get out there, enjoy some great days on the water, enjoy the spring weather. Thanks so much for tuning in to today's episode of Thunderous Fishing Tips. And as always, folks, until next time, good luck and good fishing. This is just, just great. <laughs>